Ronald Barnes, hashtag Lions, are they really going to remove pitch count off of Gibbs to at least 15 to 20 touches? I think they're going to give him more touches. He didn't have that many last week. So it's going to be added uh, a quite a bit more. I don't know how much. They may slow walk it a little bit, but I would like to see at least double the amount that he had. What do you think there, man? I mean, again, I'm quite happy to trust them with this. If Even if for a little while we use him as like a special weapon almost, I don't mind that. The way we deployed him against the Chiefs, they were scared when he was on the field. And, you know, you're having to look for him. Where is he? Is he on? Is he off? You know, it's all to do with the head as well using him. So I think he might get more, but I don't think we'll see full loads just yet. But again, I'm completely fine with that. Deploy your secret weapon when you need him. He'll do the most damage that way. Hashtag Mike, if you don't go to the game, let me borrow your suite. I need a beer and a free pretzel. <laughs> well, it'd probably get sent to one of Herm's friends. That's what I would assume. Um, but no doubt, like if I could, I would. I'd, I'd let you take it. I could care less. If you don't like overpaying for sports, you need to get Game Time. Game Time has killer deals for last minute tickets and the lowest prices guaranteed so you can stop stressing. And start getting hyped for fun you will have. It is easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. Whether that is sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever, with their lowest prices guaranteed, it is the game time guaranteed. Which means you will always get the best prices. If you find tickets in the same section in a row for less... Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, baseball, basketball, concerts, and more. And then in the middle screenshot, by the way, I think is a fantastic feature of this app. It shows you where your seat is. And if you move your phone left to right, you can see the surrounding area, kind of like a 3D live photo. So download the Game Time app. Create an account, use the code LIONSCHAT, get $20 off your very first purchase. You can go to the redeem code section, plug in LIONSCHAT, and sign up with an email. It's that simple. Terms apply, create an account, redeem code LIONSCHAT for $20 off. The link is in the comment section and description of this video. If you're buying Lions tickets this year, make sure you're using Game Time. Download Game Time today. Last minute's tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Mr. Big Chug, will we target Raymond deep this week? I need a deep threat. I hope so. I'm with you. Uh, I, they need to they need to utilize him in his in his deep routes. He's very good at route run. He's very fast. He can catch. We know it. I'm with you 100%. I want to see it. What about you, Ant-Man? I mean, I'd like to see it, but after last week, I think, you know, Reynolds would be the one who's hurt the touches if you're going to sort of aim downfield at him. I mean, he was going at 20 yards per catch, a lot of yak afterwards as well. So I would like to see Raymond in, but I would also like to see them use Reynolds a lot as well. I would say he's he did it week one. He gets the touches this time and just, you know, ride the hot hand with these guys. He had a really good game. Big question here. Do you think Taylor Decker will play? I'm going to say yes. He does play. Uh, he's a veteran. I'm not worried about him missing time. And I haven't heard anything concerned, I really. Like, when I was listening to Dan Campbell talk, he didn't seem too concerned about it. What do you think, yeah, man? I hope to God he does. I mean, if the price is sacrificing a goat to Satan, I'll do it quite happily. I, I don't want to see... I don't I don't want to see Matt Nelson near the field, so I'm just going to pray above all, God, that we can get it done. Hell, I might even put Corby out there on a game like that. I'll put Sawstall out there. If we go run the ball down their throat, he's the, he's the tackle you want to run the ball. Folks, you need to subscribe to Anthony from Royal Lions. Sorry, okay, this guy's going biblical today. He dropped the Mary one, and now he dropped in the devil one. If you like, if you like some funny jokes that come out of the blue, and you don't expect it, then you need to subscribe to Roar Lines UK because he's on fire today, legitimate fire. You're killing me with these jokes. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Hashtag One Pride. Will Gibbs be the number one by season's end? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, it, it's not running back. No. On the field more, yes. That's what I'm going to do. I still think David Montgomery is going to be the number one running back. But may, my, uh, but Jameer Gibbs is going to be on the field. Like, it's it's a different. What do you got, Ant-Man? 
I'm with you, Mike. I he you know you'll play him a lot in the slot. You'll move him around. You'll use two running backs. But Monty, we've bought him to be number one guy, and, and I really liked him what he did week one. You know, we got the hard yards, got the touchdown. This is why we got both of them. They both have starter upside, major snap upside. But the, the great thing about that is you can rotate them and keep them effective. So he, he'll be a full time member of this team on the field by the end. But yeah, not not as running back one. Question from Grandizer. He doesn't do a lot of questions, so I had to jump on this. Mike Kimber and Ant-Man, which three-player positional matchups that you will be watching closely versus Seattle Seahawks? Offensive line ver- or Lions offensive line versus, or sorry, Seattle's offensive line versus Detroit Lions defensive line because they're out two starters. That will determine how this game is going to go, in my opinion. That is the biggest matchup I think all of us will be watching for. Watch how that one goes. DK Metcalf and how Aaron Glenn defends him. I think that's really, really important. DK hurt us last year. If we can negate some of that pain, that would be great. And how do they kind of cover and not let Geno Smith run around and use his legs defensively with the linebackers and such? What do you got? So our receivers versus their secondary I think that's big because they've got a lot of talented guys in there, certainly maybe more depth than the Chiefs had. So that's going to be huge because say we're going to need Goff to be able to get it downfield, get the ball moving. So that's huge for us. Our tight ends on their linebackers, I think there's an exploitation there to be had. Again, sort of our offense and how we're going to exploit them going forward. And then, you know, the big one is our D-line on whatever they try our offensive line. It just, it has to... Stop the our run game. That's the big one. Our, our interior can our interior hold up against the run? That that's probably the biggest. And then, like I say, receivers secondary, our tight ends, their linebackers. What do you think this week trick play will be? Every game there is at least one off the wall play. Um, I don't think it's going to be an insane trick play going for it on fourth down. I don't think they're going to do a fake punt in this game. Um, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Maybe it'll be in the end zone. Maybe it's like fourth and a goal at the one. And then they'll decide to go for it instead of go for a field goal. Do you think they'll do a trick play the, uh, this game Sunday? Flea flicker. Flea flicker? I, okay. I, I'm, I'm thinking we'll see a flea flicker or something along those lines. We, we've not, you, I mean, it's one game, but we've not really utilized the trick pass as much yet. So I think we're going to do the razzle-dazzle in the passing game. That's one way you can get past their secondary is by the flea flicker. Any news on Decker? He didn't practice yesterday. That's the only news that we got. Our head coach, Dan Campbell, said he's not worried about it, and we'll see. Uh, Mosley, he'll probably be out for a couple more games. I'm going to I'm gonna just – I don't know anything, but I would say probably by week four. That's what I'm going to go on. Let's see both those questions coming in here. Let's see. Seahawks will win 1734. I'll be back once the game is over to see what you Lions fans have to say. Remember me, go Hawks. Look, if you beat us 34 to 17, you will be coming back and you'll see us very angry. Very, very angry. Very upset. That's what will happen. With that said, we heard nothing but trash talk from Kansas City fans saying it's going to be easy win. The Lions are a bye week. They don't even think about us. We're a joke. And they did this all week. And then all I did was sit back. I said, okay, I'll see you after the game is over. I let them talk. They talked. They don't talk no more. So I'm just going to say the same thing. I think the Lions going to win. But, hey, look, if you guys win, I'll definitely be talking how pissed I am. And, and it sure is a uh, roar the Lions UK. Okay, because we you got to win the ones that you're at home. You got to win the one that you're favored to win. Good teams beat teams um, that you're favored to win. That's just what they do, and they better do that. If your team wins, trust me, I will be be pissed off and giving praise to your team. Let's see here. Nah, y'all didn't trade him, bro. He signed with us in the offseason. Oh, no, no, he's talking to somebody else. Sorry, I thought that was to me. Let's see. Any more questions, just go ahead and throw it in the comment section. It's hard to find. Going biblical today, that's what Ant-Man is doing. Absolutely biblical. Absolutely. 
He says, can't underestimate Pete Carroll and the Seahawks. If the Lions don't go into this game with the mentality that they did the Chiefs, I think they'll lose. They are going to go into the mentality. This is not this. This is not a team that looks past any football team. We as fans may, but I can guarantee you that the players and the coaching staff does not. Ant Man. Yeah, this is what gives me the most confidence. I said this. You said who's their MVP. I said Pete Carroll's their MVP because he is the guy who can scheme his way out of this one. But you know, at the same time, these first five games, a lot of them against good teams, revenge games, whatever. This is a revenge game, what they did to us last year. This team has a chip on their shoulder, but they are knocking back all these negative connotations about the team. Oh, we can't go to Lambeau and win when there's nothing on the line. Yes, we can. Oh, we can't go and beat the Chiefs week one because they're the Chiefs. Yes, we can. Oh, we can't be favourites for the NFC North. Yes, we can. You know, all these preconceived notions you know, that we can't do this are going out the window. And this is one of them. People will expect us to balls it up against the Chiefs. People will expect the Chiefs to find a way to win. But we've got the talent now and we've got the attitude. They are not looking past Seattle at all. Dan has said himself they want this one more than anything. So that is what makes me believe that we've just got the edge over them this time because this team is not going to take it lightly. It's not going to look past them. It's going to go out there and absolutely kick their ass and make sure they stay down. Yeah, this is a this is a team with the underdog mentality. They're not confident, overly confident to where they think um, they're the best team in the world and they can just roll over anybody. No, they're coming in there with a chip on their shoulder. C.J. Garner Johnson with the ski mask. You see a lot of ski masks. That's how they feel. Like they're the villains. They feel like they're the underdogs. They feel like they're the ones that've been disrespected, and that's the way they're gonna play. And I absolutely love it. I don't want them getting all that feeling themselves i mean we've been praised all off season and so everybody was like will they actually do any good in kansas city could they actually live up to the praise you know there's some people saying we'll get blown out no we actually went and won the game so they're not feeling themselves okay so that is a really good thing we as as fans you as fans we as content creators we could feel ourselves because we are not in the in the in the room so we can do it they are not doing it do you think there will be many flags in this game? I hope not. I can't stand flags. It, it slows the game down. It's annoying. The Lions did really good last week, I thought, with flags. and the, I thought the referees did a terrible job over there um, with flags. I, I didn't see how many flags that the Seattle Seahawks got. So if you're a Seahawks fan in the comments section, let me know if you guys got flagged a lot. But I am rooting for a, a non-flag day. I can't stand it. It just slows the game down. It's annoying. It adds like another half hour to the game, I feel like, yeah, man. So the crew we've drawn flew sev- through 17 flags last week alone. God dang it. Yeah. we've they, they threw 17 in one week. However, our crew last week should have thrown about 50 because of Jawan Taylor. So if this is them penalizing their you know their tackle all day for lining up as a slot receiver then i don't care but yeah these are very flag happy the ones we've drawn so, so beyond your best behavior yeah i always i do the comparison how are they so slow in the nfl and in college they're much faster so i hopefully we don't get no 17 flag that would result in a long game that nobody wants to watch that it's not fun let's see what's what is it like that's what I like about Detroit. You guys humble but excited and confident. Yeah, 100%. Look, that that's how they are. That's how their mentality is. We have sucked for a very long time. We have been the bottom of the dumpster in the back of the bus for decades. So they're not coming in there thinking, oh, we're the, the chosen ones. I can guarantee you that's not the case. So humble, confident, and are going to fight and scrap for every Every single down. Any news on Isaiah Bugs? No, except for he did practice. That is it. We don't know who's in, who's out. None of that stuff as of yet. Maybe more information comes out about 4 p.m. today. We'll see. So, uh, you know, start looking around around 4 p.m. Maybe we'll get some information on that. 18 more likes to 100. Absolutely. We're now 14 likes away. Smash that like button. We will go ahead and... Get to 100 likes. If you got a question, put it in the comments.